Greetings, and welcome to Artifications. I'm Roland Ramos. Today, we're still in Monzi on our last day. And as we continue with this idea of foundation, to most people, there's nothing more foundation than one's vocation. Here is where I'd like to introduce Monzi local, Max Short, owner of Triple J Energetic Tattoo in town. While tattoos have never been the highest form of fine art, what distinguishes Max's work is his work with energetic tattoos. An energetic tattoo is a custom piece created specifically for a client to address an ailment, be it physical, be it emotional. Okay, okay. I'm Max. Uh, I'm coming from Austria. And we are now in Monse, that's a part of Upper Austria, in the nice Salzkammergut. And uh, my profession is now tattooing. It, uh, in, it's not a, a job, what, what you can learn in Austria, uh, official learn, yeah? you have to go to a studio and ask, uh, can you show me that? Yeah? Then you have to make a, a, a test and then you can be an artist. When, 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 I do, when I do energy tattoos, yeah, I have an interview with uh, my clients yeah, and they come about, uh, uh, about something. Yeah? They have problem with, uh, I don't know, can't, can't speak or, or, or they are not proud about himself or, or something. And I, I have an uh, uh, interview with them and they tell me really, really much sometimes. Sometimes they are crying next to me and I make my uh, uh, infos, write it down and only with that infos I create the energy tattoo. I have to say to the people I don't know what's, what's coming out. I, 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 there is no, nothing coming, yeah? Uh, it's coming when I'm on the mountain, yeah. when I'm on the lake or something, then I thought, yeah, that, that's it, yeah? And then I draw it. And, and I'm working with the panel, the tensor, with books. I make backstories with them. And it, uh, it's not easy to do it. After we, after we uh, did the tattooing, yeah, I, I asked them if they I would like to have a feedback. I, I would like to ring you in a month or two months, yeah, and please tell me what do you feel, how it works, and that. And that's different, yeah. But mo as a mostly the people are really, really say, oh, when I look at that, I get my my power again or something, yeah. If this sounds a little bit like therapy, one would argue that many tattooers feel themselves taking on the role of therapist for their clients. In this case, it's very much so. Yeah, so for, sure, for sure. But every tattooer is a therapist too. Yeah, when you sit with people for hours, uh, you are a therapist. Some uh, often, yeah. But that's really therapist. Yeah, that's because they get something what only they, they have. Yeah. Max worked in the family business. This would continue for decades until something manifested in his body as a physical ailment. This ailment would continue for a long time until he found it connected directly to his current work environment with his family. Now, yeah, I had, I had uh, the last time, the last 10 years I worked in the old company, I had uh, three burnouts, yeah. And then I get depressive. Yeah, and it was every day when I come to the work, it was every day, wow, it's really pain, pain for me. And my, my, my thinking was when I uh, uh, start learning energetic, yeah, I can do something for my body. Yeah, and uh, I said it before, I learned to meditation, yeah, and the really nice thing was uh, I was together with, I don't know, 15, 20 people, yeah, and we spoke about us, yeah, and that were only people that don't know me, yeah. Mostly of them had, they had also problems. As any parent and family person can attest to, the discussions around having a change in one's work environment is a very important discussion. My family and me, we sit together in the garden and speak, spoke about uh, what, what can I do. And my youngest daughter said, Papa, what do you think about tattoo? 
and I thought, why, why the tour? How, how do you think that? Yeah, you, you can uh, really good uh, uh, painting and you uh, uh, a cool uh, man. You can, you can, uh, you, uh, you have fun with uh, young uh, people. I think it's a good job for you. And then I'm thinking about it and then I learned it and now I'm a tattooer since 10 years. The journey that Max took in order to seek an affirmation that going the route of energetic tattooing was the correct way to proceed is a fascinating story. Uh, my job in the, in the company where I worked before was the marketing. Yeah? And uh, we worked together with the graphic designer not far away from here. And every time when I go to that graphic designer, I say uh, a, 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 a sign. Uh, on the sign is standing Keltenbaum big, Celtic way. That's right. And every time I pass it, I thought, oh, next time when I coming, I, 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 I save time and I go the Celtic way. Yeah. And one time I, uh, I pick up my dog yeah, and go to the graphic designer and after I go to the Celtic way. Yeah. And I thought the Celtic way is going into the uh, into the forest, yeah, but the design was to a other, other uh, uh, direction. But I thought, I, well, I go in the forest, yeah, and there was a way, and I go the way, and I thought, yeah, okay, the forest, maybe it's a round way, and I come back to that place. And I go and go, and then I thought, oh, I, I think I have to turn around. Uh, but then I see a bench, yeah, and I thought to me, I go to the bench, and when there is no cross or something, yeah, I go back, and directly by the bench there was a, a like an obelisk, yeah, there was the Holy Mary, yeah, with Jesus, and I stand for that uh, obelisk and uh, had a look, and I had a feeling I haven't had that uh, before and after. It was really. The, the hairs coming and it was and I thought please give me a sign please give me a sign is that the right way tattooing is that the right play uh, way and I stand there for sure ten, for 10 minutes uh, and there was nothing yeah but anything says to me go around that obelisk and have a look to the floor yeah and I go around that obelisk, there was, there were uh, 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 rose thorns and uh, yeah, and I had a look and I come back and I saw nothing. And then at that um, uh, augenblick, at that time, uh, my, my wife is ringing me and I have to uh, grab in my pocket and look to my feet and there was a shiny, uh, nearly brand new, 200 year old, three uh, golden Münze. A very, very old Austrian Münze, the last, the last, uh, it, it shows the last uh, Roman Empire on it. And I thought, what's the hell? There I, st I stayed there for 10, 15 minutes and I saw, I didn't saw that coin here. Yeah? It's nearly new, and, and why is that coin now here? And maybe I saw it before, not, but why is that, that coin by me? When I see a two euro coin, yeah, doesn't matter, but this old thing. And, and on that old uh, coin, it was a three Kreuzer, not golden, three Kreuzer, yeah? It, it's the same sign I have at my logo. Zahl, three, every, my whole life, is the three with me. I have three daughters and there are so many threes. Yeah, and that was the sign for me that I'm on the right way. When one opens up the prospect of working with energies, one would absolutely turn to the concept of meditation. Meditation being one's spiritual revival. Meditation means, means to me to coming to me in my middle, uh, coming in my middle and have uh, um, um, feel the earth yes. and all my feeling is open 
for me, for me, it's the middle when I feel that I, I get open. Yeah. Sometimes when I, when I'm not really spir spiritual, I, I feel, uh, it's also gray. The story of Max is important because foundationally, when we want to change, sometimes it manifests in us physically and we don't know how to address it. Other times we have to consult a higher power and sometimes it makes a stop on a dime. If you feel similarly, please follow us at artifications.com or email me at this address. Thank you so much for staying with us and have a wonderful day.